In this video, I will show you how to find your public IP. The easiest method is to Google my IP and Google will tell you your public IP. But make sure you don't share your public IP with others. I'm using a, a VPN, so that's the public IP of my VPN. If you don't have access to browser, uh, you can also use some API like this. So you can get your public IP. Uh, this is a long one because I have to do some parsing. I also found another one, it's curlifconfig.me. Remembering the public IP uh, is a headache, but we can uh, use a domain name to point to the public IP so that we just need to memorize the domain name. Here I'm using no IP and I will need to enter a unique host name before adding the hostname, we will verify that this hostname isn't occupied. We can also ping this domain name to make sure that uh, no machine is responding. Now let's add the hostname. your new domain name should be listed there. You will need to wait a while for the domain name to take effect. Let's verify this domain name. We actually find this public IP. And if we ping this domain name, we also get some response. Now you set up no IP and you can access your public IP with a domain name. There's something else that you need to be aware of. Uh, the first one is that free host names expire every 30 days. So uh, if you're not paying, uh, you will need to update your IP every 30 days. The next one is uh, you see there's a warning here. If you click dynamic DNS is not configured, uh, that's because we need to configure the DDNS. I don't have a static IP address for my home. so. Uh, I will need to configure this. Every time my public IP changes, uh, my router will notify no IP to update my IP address. If I go to my router, my setting is in network application DDNS configuration. And I can new. Enable DDNS. Service provider is no IP. Domain name is your domain name. So, username is the username of your no IP account. And apply. Then let's refresh. The warning is gone. Basically, your router frequently updates your public IP to no IP uh, to keep the domain name always pointing to your actual public IP so that um, you will not access the wrong IP address when you use the domain name. No IP also has a YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to learn more details, you can watch their videos. I will leave a link in the description.